Well, hello everybody. Look what I found. Two amazing players. Well, it's an amazing player here. And they cast invisibility on me. All right, we're gonna make it out, guys. So I'm gonna disband from the group. At least, uh, let's get moving. We're invisible. And I believe the exit is over this way. Oh my gosh. This place is uber scary. All right, where do we go? Find the exit pronto. Don't tell me this is gonna take me deeper in. Oh, that would go deeper, that would go further in. Hold on a second. Let me figure this out. You don't have time to waste. These invisibility spells can leave at any time. Oh my gosh, how do you do it? How do you, how do you get out? Oh, I don't know how to get out. I thought you were in this way. Uh, guys, how do I, how do I? Um, so I'm just looking around for the exit. I can camp real quick and then try to look on uh, the website. I'm gonna say it was like right over here. We're running out of time. Oh my God, Zogram. <laughs> yes, do you know the way? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just running around. So let's see if they can tell me. Oh, please tell me where to go. Back left corner, small bookcase, click it. Small, back left corner, small bookcase, click it. Okay, we still have the spell on. It can, it can just fade at any time. Oh, there it is. This must be it. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, there's more of them in here. <laughs> I didn't know if I was ever gonna make it out. I was gonna say, Tofu, can you please help me out? But we made it. So that was a very uh, unclimactic, what's the word? Anticlimactic. <laughs> All right, so uh, Kukuzu, thank you so much for the help. Now we're gonna gain levels out here. You two cheers, thank you so much Kukuzu. So I disbanded and it looks like there's a player out here and this player is a blue player and they are running, do they need my help? Looks like they're kiting. Let's see, oh, they're gonna die. Oh my God, why did I wait so long? I could have saved them. I just didn't know if they needed help. Dang it. Dang it. I could have helped them. Well, sorry. Cerumen's corpse. So the word cerumen also means, is like the word for earwax, cerumen. Well, we have another player out here. This guy's name is Trizdun, and there's some, um, what are those things, snow fangs? So they regard me indifferently because I am invisible, I think. Dang, oh, I'm not invisible anymore. That's right, I attacked the thing. So, purry, purry, purry warrior here. There's a lot of players out here, surprisingly. And these things right here regarded me indifferently, so we don't want to ruin that faction. So I'm going to ignore those. Um, here's another player over here. And I'm going to focus on the leopards and those guardian things, okay? So let me get some music going and let's start leveling up. I'm back in action. And um, 39, level 39. So we'll level out here and we'll kill these things. And I might kill snow leopards too. I'll attack one and get some music going right away. And we'll go back inside and kill things. So let's find the music. I'm looking for the fantasy music that I was playing a couple days ago. 
I'm going through my history list on YouTube. Ah, here it is. Royalty-free fantasy music. This must be it. Ah. So, I'm going to have to turn the game music down. How's that? Alright, so we are 7% of the way to the level. I had several clients on this game. I have maybe five clients downloaded on the desktop. My desktop is probably the messiest desktop. Some people say, oh, they can't stand the way my bags look in this game. I mean, this is how organized I am, right? You should see the way my desktop looks with icons. It is a total disaster. All right, beginning 1%, and we're just gonna attack more of them. I accidentally used my mend wound, and I didn't mean to. I'll talk less so you can enjoy the music. Flying kick, 197. We are nowhere near maxed. At least I hope not. All right, we're getting 1% per kill. And there is almost an endless supply of these ugly things. They look like floating bones with a skull of Jar Jar Binks. As one person pointed out, Theorized to be the one dark Sith Lord. The rule of two, which means there's always a master and there's always an apprentice. And Jar Jar was a secret master Sith Lord. Some people like that theory. Jar Jar certainly played keep parts in the movie in what it seemed to be unwittingly unwitting mistakes in clumsiness were actually Jedi powers in disguise. He fooled them all. Even Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn and Anakin. Alright, I love these you can go to the very tip top. Look how high you can go. That's what I like about this game. That Z-axis, oh my gosh. You can go down to the depths and up to the, almost the skies. And you can levitate, and you can jump, and you can fall. <laughs> that took zero damage, I told you guys. Sums up with it. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Prepare yourself. Oh, the music got really epic. Let's put a bandage on. Turn down the music just a tad bit. It's getting really epic though, and I like it. So 45% of my health. Can you imagine how good I would do on this character with the fungi? It'd be too good. Well, fungi only gets you regenerated health quicker, and this character's got mend wounds. So even though you don't have as much health pool, if you count Mend Wound as like a reserve health pool, you can add about 250 extra life onto your health bar when you activate Mend. That's the way I think. All right, shall we wait or shall we get in the action? Oh, it's a green, so I don't think we have to worry about a green fight. Come here, you, you flea-bitten cougar. Pretty decent model in the cougar, I think. Some of the model characters for the monsters are hit or miss. That's a definite hit. The XR model and animation, definite hit. And I think it looked really good in this, what's it called, panther skin armor? Black panther skin, yes. It looks so good. It's got this really dark blue. I mean, so fashionable. Oh no! Get over here. Oh man, I got a double. Dang it, if I can just kill one and feign death. People say, you should not play so dangerously. And they're probably right. Oh, we got him down to 
Ten percent of her life. If we if we fell and feign death, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I accidentally tabbed attack again. Dang it, dude. We got him down to like sixty-two percent already. Fifty percent. Intimidation. Oh, I'm actually gonna kill this thing. Holy cow, man! My the uh, R RNG is working in my favor. Yeah, let's do it. If I get another ad, I'd be in trouble. Nice. We're looking for cougar things, the cougar claw earrings. You never know, you might get one. Low quality cougar skin. All right. So that song ran out. Oh, I hope this isn't the accent. I hope I didn't accidentally ruin this video by putting that stupid song. Someone says, holy gosh, lovely. Gosh, this is a pretty balanced style. Simply superb. Um, let's see if anybody kind of raises the red flag. Blah, blah, blah. Absolute losing medieval vibes. Another good music, bro. Can't wait. Blah, 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 blah. Um, nobody's saying, though, that this caused them... Thanks for this song, but this song is no copyright or not. Let's see what the guy says. You're welcome. No, it's not copyrighted. Thank you so much for someone answering the question. So I didn't mean to play that song. I did not mean to play that. Let's get back to our history and look for a long video that's got a lot. That's not the one. So it's got to be a really long video that, that I was playing last time. No, that's not it. That one's four minutes long. Let me just figure it out. Shoot. Let me pause my recording here. Anyways, I was hoping you enjoy the music. I'm back. And let's kill something. Look how cool the character model looks. I was just talking about that earlier. Animation's so good. Alright. Let's look around for targets. There's one. So we will kill these. We'll kill cougars. And I'll go inside and kill those scepter looking things they're called lesser shades something like that turn that music down it is very good i like it so i'll use this music for this stream or this recording and we'll test it out see if it really is copyright free Pretty generic music. Very chill. They call what do they call this? Lo-fi. Lo-fi. Low fidelity. Alright, now we're gonna go in the entrance again. Because these things are too easy. I want the dungeon experience. We could just kill cougars though too. But I'm looking for the entrance. Uh-oh, I fell right on top of one. Guess we have to fight. Them's the rules. Pop to mend. So the damage output's really good, but you can imagine how much damage Turbo's gonna be doing. Turbo's got far more strength. So my strength is 160, but Turbo is definitely over 200 strength. Turbo is level 32, I believe, or 33 in one of those levels. He's catching up. Turbo's catching up to Illuminator. How? How's he doing that? I'll tell you how. Fungi Tunic is amazing. That's how he's doing it. He's got the fungi. He's the fungus, humongous, fungus, among us. What do you guys say? Fungi or fungi? Or fungi? I hear fungi tunic and I hear f fungi or fungus. Who cares? Who cares how you say it? People in England, they call it HD. Said it. 
high def for high definition they say H instead of Z they say Z that's so weird but Americans we invented English no just kidding we don't speak English we speak American I speak Texan American all right I'm just yakking about dumb stuff just trying to get to the entrance without getting attacked by a hundred million of these things. Come on guys, let me get to the entrance. Leave me be. 15% of the way through the level. We'll fly through this level. Oh, we'd, we'd level quicker on the outside, but I want to go inside. Why does it throw me on the out, on the wrong side of the entrance? Man, look how many there are guarding it. Ah! Oh my god, I'm gonna hit left and right. Get inside! <laughs> Dude, I just took massive amount of damage. Look at that. Hit, 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 hit. We'll see who's inside. There may be some players in here. Hey, it's giving me a chance to raise my bind wound. Let's throw some bandages on. And let's take a look around. It's just me inside here. So, we can do it. Let's clear this place out. We are now over 50% life, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh gosh, it takes forever to regen life. Without the mend, it would take forever and a day. Oh yeah, the slippery floor. Slippery floor, I almost forgot. And these things will target you and come after you. So let's see if we can avoid them. Let's just hug the wall over here. All right, I think we may have evaded them. Not these guys, we don't mind. Let's turn this way so I can at least see the action. There we go, they're blue still, perfect. Look at the damage I do. They do knock you back. Ooh, they are throwing me around. Oh yeah, you can come over here where the ground's not slippery and fight, and you won't get pushed back. Now they're not pushing me back. They say, I. All right, come on, we gotta get to level 30. We gotta get to 40. I think that's a new hell level. One down, one to go. Offense is 205. I think it's maxed. And our damage is just keeps going up. We're getting so powerful. I'm stuck with this project for a long time. This this playthrough, the monk, is a very long playthrough. I mean, I'm used to be getting close to a th hundred videos on this thing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I like those green skulls. If you take a close look at them, really good spell effects. The skulls look nice. All right, we got them. We're down low in life though. Okay, 18% of the way through the level and we get some scythes, but I have to destroy them. I just cannot loot them, they're just so heavy. Oh, a ring. That's light, and I'm sure it'll sell for a decent price. So let's throw some bandages on. Buy one. I wish there was like a Mac record set where it would just repeatedly bind itself until you get over 50% of your life return. And that way it wouldn't have to keep staring at the screen to click, 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 click. All right, so I'm surfing the web while I'm watching the character kneeling the bandages. Dr. Ixar. The wound doctor. Couple more bandages. Let's see, maybe a couple more and we'll get fighting. Hmm. Yeah, I really want to stay up. I'm tired. I'm not going to get much of a day off this week. 
hanging in there guys I've got less than a month to go and I'm a second year and the thing to look forward to is I get more time off all right let's find some more things so I'm 18% of the way through level thought something would be here all right let's peek around so that's very green to me we gotta find something dark green all right I can't wait too long so I got the resist discipline. There's a combat abilities tab. Now I have this up. So next level at level 40, we get fearless discipline. Um, that's not gonna be amazingly useful, but we'll put it up soon. How many we got? We got three on us. All right, well, let's see if we gain some percents and experience. We're at 18% right now. I'm not gonna throw this up until I fight something that's a magic caster. That's a good thing to use when you're trying to escape those things that charm. However, I don't think we have high magic resist enough. And those things must have high charm. I think that's the main thing that prevents you from getting resist against the casters. Alright, we got a th fighting the bone thing. Hopefully he does give me some experience. A lot of undead are brainless. They just attack you, even if they have no chance of defeating you. Pull back a slight bit. Come on. All right, 19% away. This is another green, but this is a dark green, so we'll get some okay experience. It'll be worth our time. I'd like to get a quarter of the way through this level. That's a good target. And this target still does not proc. I'm not sure what level you have to be to get this thing to proc. But it has an effect called Paralyzing Earth. Maybe it'll start generating more aggro when it procs. All right. Come on, give me a percent. Nope, it didn't give me a percent. It gave me some bone chips. And some gold. I'll leave that one. I just have to throw on more bandages. Let's do it. Oh, we gotta like put on the bind wound thing. So I was messing around with different skills. Come on, how do I get rid of that one? Right click. Yeah, that's how you do it. And we'll throw a bind wound. I haven't, I never use my disarm skill. There we go. Bind the wounds. We'll make this video 30 minutes, so I got about seven more minutes to do, or seven more minutes to go. I can't even think straight. Man, work is so draining. It drains me. I've got an open can of AMW. It's been sitting here for a while. I wonder if it's still got carbonation in it. I hate flat soda. It's, it's disgusting. What if there's a bug or a fly that flew into that? I just swallowed it. It was flat. All right, we're 49% of the way through. Good enough. Let's just run around and start looking for the next target. So I'm going to go into this way first. Or this way next. And we've been through this. Oh, booby trap. That's what I said, booby traps. Oh, man. Stun me. Now I'm slipping around. You guys remember that thing from the summer times? They had the slip and slide. And it was pretty narrow, and you'd just get running, you'd be running through the grass, and then you'd dive in your stomach face first, and then you'd land on it. And it's like a, a slippery plastic lane that lays in the grass and sprayed water on it, and you'd slide across the yard. And if you went going too fast, there's no way to stop at the end, and you would go sliding right into the grass, and you'd like scrape up your body. <laughs> Burns, and it was really dangerous because you're going face first, but you know, back in those days, we did dangerous things. Kids were uh, playing pretty rough. I'm not going to say it was a great idea, but that's what we did. 
We played rough. And all the playgrounds when we were kids were pretty dangerous. Really dangerous. Not They had fun in mind, but not safety. And what they say, guys, safety first. All right. I'm not one of those types that goes talking about the good old days, but I love those nostalgic videos. Those, you'll see like YouTube shorts or Facebook clips. I don't know what they call them on Facebook. I don't do the TikTok, but you know, I do the YouTube shorts. And they always play those nostalgic videos and they kind of know my age, you know? I'm like in the algorithm, I guess. And they always play those like Friday night at the Blockbuster and they play that nostalgic music. And I just love those videos. I'm not going to say my childhood was, you know, the best time of my life, but when you see those old things, they do kind of reignite old memories, and you can choose to remember the good stuff. Be positive. Remember the good times. Don't sweat the small stuff. You know, I heard someone say, you can spend your whole time, you look back and you spend all your time worrying about things. And when you look back at it, you realize those things didn't matter. We focus on things that stress us out and things that are out of our control. Oh my God, they just all appeared and they all fell. What the hell happened? I guess they decided they actually do want to fight me now. Okay, dark green. My life isn't great, it's at 70%, but I think we have enough life to fight off or fend ourselves against three shadow bones. You guys remember an NES game called Shadowgate? I remember looking at the game cover art and I'm thinking, oh, this is an awesome looking game. I bet it's gonna be good. And then I played the game and it was like, you're moving like a mouse cursor. Or a... It's like one of those ones where you, you click on things like hints and stuff before Mist came out, the seventh guest. And I remember thinking, there's no action I don't you're young, you know, they use a lot of big words. Clearly it was marketed to older people. The only game I played as a kid that I think was marketed to towards older audiences is me and my friend used to play these Japan Japanese company games. And uh, there's one called Aerobiz. And the game was you are trying to make a successful airport. You'd buy planes, you would buy routes, and... Um, You'd manage, <laughs> manage it and try to make money so you can expand the airport's earnings. And we stayed up playing Aerobiz one time, me and my friend. I'd say we were about sixth grade. And then we played Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And I think they were for older kids, older audiences, but we were mature. We, we, we enjoyed that stuff. I wasn't really big into platformer games, and I had never got into platformers. My first introduction to platformers, I think, was Joust and Mario Brothers, the arcade games. And they're just so hard. I don't like hard games. And then later on, of course, Super Mario Brothers came out, and that was for the uh, Super Nintendo. It came with the system. I got playing that, and I enjoyed, I enjoyed it, but I, I liked games like Zelda more. And... Even more than Zelda, I love Dragon Warrior. I love Final Fantasy III. Or was it Final Fantasy II? Which in Japan was like Final Fantasy III. You notice all the second games of the NES series, popular franchise series, were so different than the first. So what I'm talking about was Castlevania II was so much different than Castlevania I. And then Super Mario Brothers 2 was so much different than Super Mario Brothers 1. Oh my god, what am I doing? Fake your death. Is that fake death? And then what was there? So there's Super Mario Brothers 2 was so much different. Zelda 2 was so much different. And then Castlevania 2 was so much different. It was like a completely different type of game. And I'll be honest, I think Super Mario Brothers 2 was the best. I think Castlevania 2 was the best. No, no, Super Castlevania was amazing, but maybe... No, I, I'm going to take it back. Castlevania 2 was the best. Simon's Quest. And then Zelda 2. I think it was Link's Adventure or something. That was the best Zelda game, in my opinion. But then the Super Nintendo games, oh, those were so good. The sound and the graphics were so amazing. 
All right, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna start bandaging myself. What am I doing? I'm not bandaging myself. So I had a lot of uh, Super Nintendo games as well. And let's see, what was my favorite NES game? That's hard to say. Oh no, it's easy to say. Street Fighter 2 was my favorite NES game. Super Nintendo game by far. I was so into Street Fighter. I mean, we used to go down to the arcades. Even if I didn't have money, I would just go there and watch other people play. I love that game. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite game. And then I got really into Ultima Online. I was very young. I was still in school, teenager. Playing Ultima Online is my first experience playing online games with other people. Oh man, I used bandage. It's not gonna work. And then, of course, EverQuest came out. And I'll say, at first I was like really resistant to EverQuest. I was a complainer. I complained about the small things and I didn't let myself really get into the game and enjoy it because I came in with a strong bias against EverQuest because it came out and it sort of ate EOO's lunch. A lot of people left Ultima Online to play EverQuest and I was kind of bitter about that. The game was losing population and EverQuest was soaring. So I was like, oh, well, this game's better, you know, blah, 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 blah. But when I moved on from UO, I have no desire to ever play Ultima Online again. But I have a lot of desire to always continue playing EverQuest. This game is just made for people like me. All right, we're gonna do it. I didn't. I I inched my way too close, and then they just decided to fight me. And I'm, I have men wounds, so we'll be okay. I'm gonna fight this last battle against the three Shadow Bone guys, and then I'm gonna take a nap. I gotta throw clothes in the washer. My alarm clock is gonna go off in the see, Nine to ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, one, one, two, two, three, three to four. We got about six and a half hours of sleep if I go to bed like right now. But I've easily got 30 more minutes. What I'm gonna do is upload this video, make sure it worked before I schedule it to upload for tomorrow. So this video is gonna go up on Tuesday, May 21st. I am playing this right now, Monday, May 20th. I didn't upload any videos, I haven't been able to play. I had the one of the most busiest days of my life yesterday when I was on call. It was it's pretty rough. Alright, let's do this. We got close to 25%. I'm at 22 at the moment. Hey, something lit up. There must be someone in here. Alright, well, this is gonna kill this. I'm gonna camp out. Come on, die so I can leave. Thank you. Loot, loot, loot. Alright, we will. Whoa, 10 gold. It's a lot of gold. It's not like tree ant rich, but that's pretty rich. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope I wasn't yakking a yak about so much crazy stuff. I'm just random. Uh, I'm hyped up from work and I try and do my best to unwind. Take a deep breath. You guys take care.